They are coming. We are going to be attacked in my beautiful colony of Citadel by not one but two separate raids very shortly. Now, we have around 12 days until the first one arrives, and then this one, which is going to be far, far more powerful, I think, is going to be in around a month's time. But before that, instead of just sitting around doing nothing, I'm going to try and make myself some money. So up till now, I've been doing random bounty missions, but I feel like we're missing out a little bit. I don't normally do this because it's a bit easy to make money this way, but we're going to use the power of trading to make some quick cash to speed things up a little bit. I need money. I need money to build better buildings, equip myself with better technologies. All the things we need are related to the cash, so we need to work on that as soon as possible. So in that vein, I'm going to jump into Citadel, and I'm going to get myself some weapons. So how this works, guys, as I have a big old base already, I produce things over and over again. Now, the difference is going to be here is that if I go and take money or things from this stockpile here, I would actually be directly just taken from my colony. So instead of just it being free, it actually costs you the same amount as if you were buying it for base value. So for instance, if I'm looking at a weapon here, this would cost... Well, actually, I can tell you exactly what it costs. If I say take 400, it will then cost me 200 grand at the end of the month. However, something that I absolutely love about this game, which I think is absolutely awesome, if you look at anything and you're in the main part of the map, you can actually see supply and demand. You can see that, for instance, if I go and take this group of units to Gargoyle and sell it there, I actually make quite a nice profit. Or I can go to the place above that and get even more money. There are things we can try and do here to get some cash, and I think we need to try and do it to get things going with the economy here. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take myself two sets of 400. Not more than that though. Oh, wait, we haven't got enough room in my... It's okay. <laughs> we have just enough room for this situation. So what we'll do, I'm going to take these guys up. Now, unfortunately, both of these locations are on the other side of the core sector, so it's quite far away, but I'm pretty certain that we can find a gate there. So next time we can just teleport around and do instant trading throughout the sector. Because something you've got to remember, guys, is that until you finish the story and base game, you actually can't use gates. So having the ability to fast travel around the map instantly is extremely powerful. And if you're a trader, you can instantly make unbelievable amounts of money. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to be doing this for the start of the episode here. Now, I'll probably cut out the travel time, but I'm pretty sure I can get up to the top, find a gate, teleport back home before the raids arrive. Maybe not the pirate one, but at least the one that could be dangerous, the proper raid from the main enemy here. Now, I will say it does think that the, the game does say this is going to be outmatched. I don't agree with this. I think we're going to be fine. Mostly because there's a bunch of random fleets flying around here. And I'm pretty sure they're going to run into one and probably just die. Because pirates are at war with everybody. So we have to see how that works out. Now, gate-wise, there's actually two ways we can do it. I think we're going to go over to Trantor first. And then we'll probably go over to the other system second. Because it's a bit closer. Now, it's going to be... What? How many days of travel is it? It is going to be unknown <laughs> it won't tell me it's gonna be around eight or so days so in theory i could actually do this and get back in time but we we'll have to figure that out as we go along here for now though i'll probably skip all the travel because it's the start of the video guys we just uh chill get to the place make some money and then head back home oh i should just receive an alliance offer from the tritac sc I'm going to accept this temporarily because an alliance offer will mean that we get back up if we're attacked by people. It's probably not the faction I want to be in alliance with. I want to be in faction with the guys that's given with a G. Where are they? These guys. Gen Soyoku. That's not correct, but it's okay. These guys, they're, they're one of the new factions. I want to see what their military looks like. So I want to try and get friends with them at some point. Oh, let's be careful here. Or, no, wait. Let's go back there. I will accept. So if I fight them instead, I can then steal their blueprints. So let's just accept this alliance, confirm, and we are now, everybody, in a brand new alliance. This should mean that we get back up if we're attacked by people, which is going to be pretty handy if I say so myself. Okay, we've just arrived at the first system. I'm, I just double checked. Oh, they've already arrived. Oh no. Oh, there's no geeks here either. <laughs> Damn it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're going to quickly jump over there. We're going to try and sell our goods. Are they fighting over there? There's a pirate fleet, but it's fine. Hey, friends, I'm here to... They don't want to trade with me? <laughs> what, if they're like... Wait, are these guys already hostile to me? 
They are! I didn't realize they were a hostile nation. Well, then I'll sell it on the black market then. I make even more money. <laughs> so we just made an extra 86 grand from this on top of what I'm going to lose, which is a pretty good start. There's nothing else here, though, for us to do. So we're going to probably get out of here as soon as possible. But we will buy some extra supplies, though, just to top us up a little bit. Actually, is there a point of that? That's fine. We use free a day. That is actually not a problem. Let's get rid of these guys as well. They're kind of just sat around doing nothing. Extra money for the money gods. Good to see. Okay, so that one is out the way. Let's quickly teleport away and we get to the next location. I actually grabbed myself this last episode so we can just now leave whenever we want to. And here we are. <laughs> Perfect. Next system, I Terminus. Wait, I think Terminus was another location we could have gone to. So we'll quickly again. We could have gone to Terminus or we can go to the Lug system. Now, I'm pretty certain Terminus has... We'll we check Terminus afterwards. We're going to have enough supplies, unfortunately, but we can try our best. So let's quickly run over this way. The pirate system... The pirates are actually in our system right now, so we might get a message saying that we failed, but hopefully that won't be the case. Okay, second system has been reached. Quick, 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 quick. Hi, I need to quickly sell my goods, if you don't mind. Pirate trade convoy. Interesting. Oh, that's a patrol. I was going to try and just be a bit sneaky. As this is actually... Oh my god, look at all that money. This is independence, right? we got a good relation with them already. I can probably get away with some light smuggling. I'm going to go out and say. It would be fine. Don't worry about it. Run away. <laughs> I was never here. What do you mean? I trade legitimately. I'm leaving. Okay, we've got some negative two relations there, which is not brilliant. But I'm pretty certain if we look over here, we might find ourselves a gate. And then next time we come over here, we can immediately just teleport and it'd be fine. Now, I'm not seeing any negative messages, though. Oh, I was hit by the storm. Damn it. Perfect. Yes, I already knew this was here. <laughs> so now we found an escape, I can immediately just teleport back to our home system and it'll be fine. Travel through, ten, teleport back this way and we have reached our main base. Now, if we try and get to the Citadel quickly, also, the adversary raid has arrived, which is kind of terrifying. So we might have to fight the pirates and them at the same time. Hopefully my main station is still intact. Oh, Pirate Raid has been defeated. Great. Oh, it's my friends. Good job, everybody. Let's go and quickly join in the rest of this battle here. What have we got? Some big ships. We'll be fine. I'll go with myself and we'll take some guards with me. And that should be all we need. I like how my fleet's just mechs as well. <laughs> this is all my fleet. It's just a bunch of random mechs. Okay, let's get those guys sorted out. So I'm not sure how much money we just made there. Probably around like 140 grand or so. Remember, we're going to lose a ton in a second when the month ticks over. So we're not that rich yet. But we will... We've definitely made a profit here. Why, hello. Get a smash in there. Hopefully once we get our extra backup, we can maybe go and kill a station, get some blueprints. That's what we really need to see here. Oh, God. That's, that's going to kill someone. <gasps> oh, he dodged it. It's fine. Right, hello, friend. Let's take this guy down. Oh, my sword guys are so aggressive. <laughs> take them down. Kill them all. Wait, this guy does not want to keep in range of me, but luckily my beam is ridiculous. I'm surprised we haven't taken down his his engines. We just shoot him in the back here. He's totally fine. Excellent work. Okay, there's still an enforcer and whatnot, but I think the rest of the fleet should go down quite quickly here. My elite mech warriors are doing an amazing job. I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh. What was his name? I, I like how I like having names on the fighters. It just makes it feel like a lot more like, no, Walton! Don't die like this. Yes, move it. Keep firing, guys. Get a bit closer. I might get this another pulse saver at some point if we find one. So I think it'd be a lot better with my general fit here. Or just some high velocity drivers. That's probably the best case scenario here. Oh no, the swarm! He's dead. He's died. Okay, at least we helped out a little bit here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We're good. I provided some assistance with defeating the pirate swarm in the end anyway. So, we got some basic supplies. Nothing too crazy, but we got a few days of stuff. And also, we just helped reduce this a little bit. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that my allies blowing up enemies counts towards the ticker here. So I have to personally be involved with blowing up pirates. Oh my god, they're there. Who? 
<laughs> What's going on? What even are those ships? There's no way I'm not getting into this battle here. This is crazy. So is that the... Okay, that's them. Who are they fighting? Are they fighting with me or are they fighting against me? I have no idea. We're going to go in. This fleet is a carrier fleet. Through and through. This is going to be terrifying. So you know when I said at the start, like a few episodes ago, I was like, oh, I got a mech fleet. It's going to be brilliant. Unless they have fighters or long range weapons. Well, this is one of those challenges, everybody, because this is definitely a fleet of fighters. They have longbows. They have, I can't remember all the names of them now. Gladiuses. That's what I can remember. <laughs> uh, Thunder wings, claws, tridents. Oh, no. But the news is though, they're just using a fighter fleet. So if we manage to swing through that, it should be okay. That ally is helping us. The behemoth, that is a big tanker. So we have some backup here. We have a station. This might be possible. Oh, the battle's fully in swing. This is awesome. I'm loving this. Okay, we're going to go in right away. I'm going to probably keep... We need to get this guy in. He's the carrier, right? We need to make sure he's in. Okay, actually, what we do... Uh, you off, you on. That should be enough. Everybody, this is going to be a long battle. This is going to be a scary battle. But we will survive. We will thrive. And we will defeat our enemies. Let me just zoom in. Oh, no. See? Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. We're going to fight as much as we can, kill a few of them, and probably just run away bravely and never look back again. <laughs> okay, everyone, control groups. Everyone move up as fast as possible. We can watch this battle remotely for now. The swarms! The swarms! My mechs might do a good job. I'm not sure, to be honest. I, I, that was just a guess that I might not be very good against. Wow. Ooh. So they've got a loads of modules. So I've not seen a strip design before. I'm absolutely, I'm very interested in it. The Newfoundland is known for one ship con convoy. Wow. It has a lot of stuff on it. This is awesome. Though I do have to question why is it deploying a battle against a carrier force? But it don't that's technicalities, don't worry about that. It's fine. So they, they got some other ships as well. Look at these guys. That's a wolfhound. That's a real wolfhound. We've seen wolfhounds before, but this is the um But this is actually the proper variant. This is the one that's not a pirate one. So, the good news is here, if we are fighting against the enemy, I'm going to sit my guys on defensive mode, and we're going to sit around the station. So, the idea is going to be here, that we defend it, um, that we defend it, we try and kill the enemy fighters, and if they run out of units, we might be able to push up and even kill some of them. So, we're going to try our best just to be a big point defense master here, and keep the enemy away from our allies here. Though, this is kind of terrifying. To be fair, this there's enemies everywhere. Oh no, that's a lot of sab. Okay, that enemy there. Oh, you're so far up there. They've only got high quality units. So I will say the lack of units defending them is a big problem for them. I reckon that this is a big problem with their defense. They got a bunch of drovers. So drovers are pretty good. They do they're slow though. They have a ton of units they can bring into the battle, fighter-wise, but their defensive capabilities are very low. And I feel like that's going to be the weak point of their defense. So I'm going to push forward right away. We've already losing some troops, by the way. They are going down. If I can wipe these guys out. In fact, this is a mistake, what I'm doing right now. We should go focus on one enemy at a time. We go in, kill one, flank around the right-hand side, and kill their ca carrier force this way. This is probably going to work. Especially with my very fast moving sword units. This is actually a bit of a game changer. Okay, next fleet my friends. Move, move, move. We can sweep through and destroy all their fighter craft. Next one everybody. This fleet is missing all its defenders. Without defenders this is just a sweeping attack. We're just going through one at a time. Go for the Astral next. This is going to be harder to break, but once we break it, 
I don't think they're going to be able to recover. As I can't see... Okay, it's HP is going down. we got guys on it. We need to bring in some more reinforcements. I think we broke the back of this anyway. I say what we do, once we break this guy, we go and pull back and do defense again. Because the enemy have called in reinforcements more... They just drove us, though. So. We keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep fighting. Oh! <laughs> that was a lot of missiles! Luckily, my shield held, or that would have been a very long day for me. Okay, so we've done that. What do we want to do now? Do we want to keep moving up, or do we want to go for the... Have an astral. So the other astral is currently very low. We go for the astral. It's being supported by everyone else. The astral has a lot of fighter craft, and it also has ability abilities to just instantly recall anything they're doing. Six fighter bays. This is worth this. It has to go down next. Everyone, move over. Now the enemy bombers are vast, so if they do land a big bomber on me, I will die. We've got to be careful of that. For instance, he could have instantly transported his fleet back, bombed me right away. I wouldn't have a chance. We got this. Move in, men. This is so glorious. I don't think I thought this was going to be a loss. I was going to fight my best, retreat, and then get the hell out of here. I did not think this was possible. <gasps> Their fleet has failed. Our might is assured. The commanded will destroy them all. Brilliant. <laughs> Your fleet was supposed to be invincible, invulnerable. Infallible, but I, Commander Shepard, have defeated it. And now I'm just spinning around in a circle. Well, I may have started my speech too soon. Wait, wait, come back. You can't hear me anymore. You're too far away from my comrade. <laughs> I'm just blasting out noise in the space of a speaker. I'm just ravenously speaking into the mic. Get back, get him, get him, get him. We got this, we got this. Okay, can I put two missions on this? Uh, in... What was it? CC. Kill this one first. This wouldn't have been possible without the mechs, by the way. The, the mech sword, I think, just carried this entire engagement. I mean, I helped out a little bit with my shields and defense and stuff, but I was... It's the, it's the mechs. Next one. I mean, also as well, like, in terms of gladiuses, as soon as the enemy gets close to them, they just sword wipe. The sword kills everything. But we didn't lose... A, it, it was not a battle without losses, though. But it was definitely a battle we won. Yes, join the pursuit. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to manly do this. Wait, who died? Who died? Someone died. I, I didn't see who it was, though. Damn it. We're not sure. We're not sure. You guys are probably left. Everyone else is probably from the bottom. We're going to move in as fast as we can. Are they all thunder wings? No, what are these? I haven't seen these. They're like a baby thunder. They look pretty cool, actually. I might try and get some. What's that noise? What is happening right now? I don't know. Like I'm not as fast as this giant tanker. Oh, it moves like a snake! This is a cool ship design. I love it so much. This looks awesome. Are oh, they not doing a good job? We need to get for the big things first. If we kill the big things, we are good to go. I, I should have been a frigate on this one, I think, so I could have been a bit faster here, but... That guy should die in a second. He's going to be having a big explosion, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Ooh! <laughs> Maybe I should be running around with my defenses on. They're really cool. I like them. I presume that's um. I presume that's just. I presume that's just generic damage they're using. There, they're not using like the crazy damage. One enemy left. Can you defeat him, my friend? You could do it. Actually, I don't think you could do it. They've gotten away. <laughs> you tried your best. You tried your best. Confirm. So, we destroyed a lot of them that time. Can show ship recovery. Get all my guys back in the action. Now, of course, remember, in this series, we're not allowed to do anything 
apart from recovering our allies, we had to build every ship we use. So we cannot, unfortunately, take this with us. But it would be a cool find. So recover that. We... Oh! Oh! Chaos! You were missing in action, but we managed to recover you, so you're still alive. I like that. That was cool. Oh! The Hydra. More Graviton beams, harpoons, Vulcan cannons, rail guns. And also we got a ton of advanced weapons as well. So that was a good find. Beautiful. So was there not two fleets? I'm just going to bring it up. So now that has been dealt with, let's just grab myself some random salvage. Because there's going to be stuff all over the gap, everybody. We pick all the stuff up. High risk now, that's fine. Uh, let's... Oh, it's okay. We still made a profit. So the reason this was this bad is I cost... I spent this much on these supplies, which we made, definitely made a profit on. But also I asked for 120 grand of production. So that is why that was so vigorous. Is that the end of their fleet? Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Let's just make sure we go through and just savage all the flying drones as well. There's quite a few of them, I think. There's one over there. There's stuff everywhere. Oh, no, that was the wrong button I pressed. The wrong sequence of buttons. If I was trying to get into my house right now, I would not be able to get into my house. It would be incorrect. That big fleet that helps out, though, it was a light... Who are, they, who are they, guys? They were, they were great. I love them. Whoever they are, they saved my ass, everybody. Without that super snake trader, I think we would have probably have failed. As long as the other units as well are brought with them. Sorted. Okay, so that went out really well. Now, that probably has negatively affected our relations a little bit. But I would also point out that we're at war with them. So it doesn't really matter. So something I did find early in the episode, which I decided not to put in at the start because things haven't happened yet. If I go over to this... Diplomatic Profiles. This is how you can customize your nation. I knew it was in the game somewhere. I completely forgot where it was, but I have now found the way. Interesting. So, if I go into this fella, I can now change how my nation looks. We can do different values, which affects basically who likes us and who hates us. So right now, we are a blank slate. We have not got anything going on at all. We have absolutely no... <laughs> We're basically a despicable neutral. So I've been messing around a little bit here. I've, I've ended up with this. So we are not corporate whatsoever. We believe a lot in technology. We are very militaristic. We're a little bit hierarchical because I like the idea of having knights and stuff. So we've put that up a little bit. We are very diplomatic. And also ideological as well. We believe in the safety and freedom of everybody of the commanded. So that is our end goal here. This means that we will get a lot of changes over... Oh, is this my traits? Do these change if I change these? Is this affected? No, I don't know where they come from. <laughs> I have no idea where that comes from. So I got a bunch of random traits. Apparently I'm paranoid. I'm envious. I hate AI. Law and order, that's okay, I guess. Double disposition effects from alignment. I don't know what's going on with the... Can I change these somehow? We'll figure that out at some point. But it's interesting, because um, I would like to customize these, because... At least this one. I don't hate AI at all. I don't know where they even got that from. So we can actually see what other guys are like as well. So like the adversary here. They are predatory, law and order, monopolists. So they have different alignments and whatnot as well. The Imperium are anarchists, forever war. Oh, low profile, neutralist, likes AI. See, I like AI. I like AI. That's okay. Well, we can't do anything about that as well as I know. So we just have to deal with it for now. Anyway, so that has been dealt with. Also... We have leveled up everybody. So, if I go over to... What do we want to pick? What do we need in our military? I feel like we should go for this one. Actually, no. What is the most powerful thing I, I can get right now out of all the traits? Uh, 
For for instance, these two I also always think are a bit like, eh, not that interested. I'm not going to find blueprints of those anytime soon, I don't think, so I'm not that bothered. This one is very useful with the permanent hull mods and logistical mods. I think that is a pretty damn useful thing. And also, it reduces the point points bonus for objective is at least 10% of battle size. So I think that means that we can always get more units in the battle. There was also another one. Oh, this one was the other one. Sorry. This one actually, this is the better one. Grants basic helmanship, damage control, ordnance expertise skills to all my ships without an officer. This is great. Deployment costs reduced by 20% or 10 points. That's also brilliant as well because it means we can call in more with less. It's basically great. As for the other skills, there's a lot of personal combat skills which I think would be very useful. But for now, I would rather go for the fleet buffs because there's a lot of them. So I'm actually going to go and grab myself this one next. Tactical drills. We'll probably go for the top speed for all units, which is brilliant, and then the carry group one as well. And after that, we'll probably go down this way and grab some skills for my aiming for AI and whatnot. Eventually, we will get this, but that's going to be a bit further down the road. Or, next, we'll do this one next. Helmsman. Movability and acceleration with top speed. That is a very good skill to get, to be fair. I should be getting it earlier. But this one's great as well because it also increases your Marines' effectiveness, which means we can do better raids, which we need to get blueprints from hostile factions. So that is a very important part of this game. Confirm. Sorted. Okay, let's keep going. The super supply fleet is still destroying all our foes. So something I have forgotten about is, first off, let's go over this way. We need to reclaim this makeshift comms reload to get our bonus back in the colony. So I'll take that back. Thank you, game. And finally, if I go over this way, we've only got one beacon, actually. That's a bit annoying. You can also get the one that increases your sensor range and also one that increases your speed. So they are very useful, in my opinion. Now, back in the base. We have 189 grand, so okay. Let's just dump all these random units into our storage so we can use them in future builds sorted we are running out of money though supplies we're running out of supplies though so that is a bit concerning to say the least we probably want to perhaps keep an eye out for other trade deals we can do i personally like going for the ones that sell for a lot of value because it's just a quicker bang, bang for buck however i will point out our car capacity is not stellar right now so really it's a bit of a struggle when it comes to moving stuff around. I mean, this is, sells quite a lot of value, but there's no thing, nothing we can sell there. This one we can sell for a profit, but marginally. I think we've made our money for now, and it's probably best to wait for additional things to show up. Though, you can make a lot of money from heavy machinery currently, so that is a big incentive. And it's very close by as well. Let's actually take 600 of these then. This is where we run into a problem, because we unfortunately haven't got enough capacity. I'll get rid of a lot of these again. And I will pick up some additional supplies to get there. Only a little bit, though. That should be enough. We're still using three pounds a day, so... Oh, I'm doing all this. I forgot them. My new Falcon. My new Hammerhead. And that's it for now. But new stuff. I like it. When I get in the money, I'll probably also buy myself a Heron, or we go for the full shebang and we bring ourselves in, like, the Legion. We have to see. Wait, oh my god. We've got an alliance, which means we now have a commissioned crew. So all my ships, if I just make sure they are applied correctly, go back into this. Add. Alliance sensor array. Okay, so all my ships now have commissioned crews, which didn't do anything before. But now we've got an alliance, you'll see that they all have two new things. Being a member of the TTSC grants you access to subroutines that increase flux capacitation. That's very good. And also dissipation. That's amazing, guys. This is a really, really powerful boon we've got on all our ships now. As well as this, we got the advanced flux capacitors. Wait, how do we have two of the same thing? So this was a Tritachion one, but because they are Tritachion Security Council, there's an additional one. What? The hell? <laughs> wow! Oh, we're just stacked. We're absolutely stacked, everybody. I can't believe what I'm witnessing right now. I'm not going to leave my alliance. I love my alliance. My alliance is forever. <laughs> it's keeping it with me. I could directly collect ransom on my prisoners. We're not going to do that. 
Ooh, okay, perfect. Uh, let's see. Major events, corny crisis, corny threats. We are empty. We are fretless. We are the commanded. Now, if I jump back into the old thingy here, we have our brand new units. Now, they've got heavy machine guns. We are still definitely lacking anything that's actually useful when it comes to combat. Uh, okay, so now that we've got all that sorted out and whatnot, I'm going to try and re-equip some units here. We have been given some additional items. Well, I say given. We found some additional items we can try and use here. So I can either go down two routes. I can switch this out for an ion beam and maybe disable enemy units at range. Or we can try and kill them with a pulse laser instead. Both of those are viable strategies. I feel like what we might potentially want to do... Anti-shield, anti-shield. Anti-armor area. Because we are lacking completely armor damage at this point we are lacking it a lot for my main unit here but at the same time having two dual shooting guys with anti-flux is making me not really a killer but i'm kind of like a support i can tank i can remove their flux making them unable to fire or become vulnerable to death i'm kind of like a super supporty man so we are doing a pretty okay job of all that we can what i do i think i'll get two pulse lasers we will then switch out also to two heavy cannons, which should be a better version of what i got currently. And this should make us more efficient at what my role is currently, while also being a bit more adaptable when it comes to killing dudes. If I stumble across a frigate with my two pulse lasers, it should pretty much kill it in a few shots. Now, we've also got our basic the lasers at the front here. I think I'm happy with what they are, though. Point defense is pretty useful. It does save my life, so I'm okay with that. The missiles are pretty handy as well, so I'm happy with what we have. Cool, next. Uh, I'm going to probably put these guys on auto and I'll manually fire my guns. And hopefully I've got to keep pressing those random buttons at the start of the match here. As for the second Falcon, he already has a few things here and there. We probably want to also build in this fella. It pretty much is required in any permanent ship you have. Not that one, sorry. This one It's pretty much required because it just increases everything. It's definitely worthwhile also spending those points on these increase my xp generation it's a pretty handy thing i feel like we should probably grab both of this he's gonna be a bit more of a varied ally and i have two support ones so this guy's less involved when it comes to shooting at point blank range he's gonna be more of like a generalist so he has ability to do long range attacks and disable enemies he has the ability to destroy shields and armor while the missiles, we're going to switch out for salamanders. That just is generally useful, I think. Salamanders are great. <laughs> Even if the enemy is, like, fast, it can probably distract and annoy them. So that's why I like having these in my repertoire. I do not think we possibly need to add on the increased combat time on this guy. I think he's okay. We'll make sure we cap out that. We'll give him Santa Claus, and I think we'll go from there. Now, next up we have the Hammerhead. If I just put on a random person here, you can take it. The Hammerhead's going to be pretty limited, I think, at this point, because we haven't got the weapons we need. But we can give him the same kind of treatment. So he's got an anti-armor. We give him a random Arbalus Cannon, so he's got both. Hammerhead Torpedoes. I feel like we should go for the same strategy as before. We give him Salamanders instead. He's probably going to be dueling a lot of frigates and stuff. So this could be the difference between him being destroyed or winning. Why does he have this? <laughs> no, thank you. I do not want that equipment. Unlike the other one, though, I think we might sacrifice. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I might go for this is going to mean he's going to have less point defense capabilities. But I think it might make him a bit stronger until we get high velocity drivers. So I'm going to go for double assault chain gun. We're going to go for two rail guns. And the back's going to be two Vulcans, or whatever this thing is. Pumpkins. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm not really sure, about, actually, about that. Is that really effective? Close range, damage 17 times a night. It's like a shotgun one. We'll give it a shot. If it sucks, we'll get rid of it. It's not a problem. So, that's the build for that fella. I'm going to probably give him, as well, the increase in both of these. Just so he's got stuff ready to go. Done. Now, of course, these fits aren't perfect. They may fail completely, but for now, I've got a lot of weapons. We're going to just try and hope it does okay. Cool. I'm happy with all this. 
Oh, these have been unlocked yet? I still haven't figured out if I can... When I could even use these. The additional capabilities. Not yet. Okay, fair enough. Sorted. Okay. I'm pretty chuffed with all this. We, we survived. We have an ally. We've killed the enemy. We're, we're kind of safe right now. I did have a check before, right? We didn't actually have the possibility of selling anything, if I'm correct. But I think now... Oh! This is more bulk goods, isn't it? If you have like 10,000 of these and you sell it for slightly more money, you can make a lot of money. But we haven't got that capability, so... For now, I think we're going to go and head off. And sell these goods here. Go back towards the pirate bases. Try and kill both of them. And from that point on... I'm pretty certain that we can get a lot of money from that and then also have more stability for our colony. That's the general plan here anyway. So, let's get rid of these fellas. Goodbye. So, I did just go and sell some heavy industries. I, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of distracted while I was doing it and I sold it on the market instead of being on the black market. So, I don't know if we made money. I've at least done something. <laughs> That's all we need to know. So, now we've sorted that bit out, we're going to go and head over to these the dual pirate base systems and try and take them down. I think we're by, by brand new allies. We should be okay. Let's try and sweave through these. Sweave? I've made a new word. We must sweave, everybody. So her is the one that was a bit easy to take down, I think. We'll go for this one first. No! What is this? What is the point of this? San Iris. Da -da -da -da. Primary reason is the colony's market share in export. So they want to blow up my factories, which is awful so we're trying to jump into here first and then once we've done that we will go back and defend our location so there's gonna be a lot of defenders here we want to get rid of these guys first if we can perfect excellent i'll try and auto resolve it we'll see if this works out a lot of them are dead i just want to make sure there's not too many allies because otherwise it's a bit of a pain also the bounty's still in effect very nice Let's go for the cat. Let's go for the main base, shall we? First, though, I'm going to raid and we're going to steal stuff. <laughs> uh, what sells for the most? Wait, get rid of that again. Four fat. It is that. That is the most effective thing. We're going to grab all their stuff. Thank you. I lost some marines there, but we got ourselves some free stuff, everybody. We got some experience. stability has been reduced. That doesn't really... Oh, ship equipment means this. I thought it meant an actual item. I'm an idiot. It's fine. But we just got some bunch of free guns. Big guns as well. We're not going to be too useful for our current lineup. But when we get some better ships or bigger ships, this would be amazing. Kind of a shame we didn't pick up any of our other things, such as high velocity drivers, though. But you can't win them all. Transfer battle. Let's go in. So we've got probably want to split this up a little bit now. I do like the forces we have, so what I'm probably going to do, we have myself go in as Le Commander 1. We will also have these as the first squadron. So these are going to be just our general spawning kill. Oh, actually, we'll bring in a carry as well. This could be the general spawning group. 60 supplies. The rest will be group 2, as well as the Hound. Earth, Hound, Wolf. Cool. Because you don't want to deploy everyone for every battle. It's a bit of an overkill most of the time. This is good. We, for this battle, though, because we are fighting the station, we do probably want to bring in every single person. So, unlike last time, I have some slightly more efficient guns. We have some better anti everything guns as well. This might work out pretty well. As well as having reinforcements and whatnot on addition. So, hopefully, this works out okay. We want to be careful with the station, though, because it is a bit dangerous, to say the least. Hey, friends. I don't think my guns are going to do anything against you, but you never know. Take my two damage. <laughs> oh. This is where the pulse is going to be great. Oh, I say great. They're going to be more effective than a random beam, to say the least. Oh, that guy could have hit me there. That was a bit scary. Okay, my job on this mission is a very simple one. We need to try and keep the flux of this... This module is high as humanly possible. It has tons of guns. It has all the DPS. It needs to be cowed down to not be a problem for the rest of the fleet. Now, unfortunately, because this station spins so fast, it's going to be impossible for me to do this at all times. So we kind of have to hope that my ally won't just go and face tank him when I'm not there. Apart from that, though, if I see it, I'm shooting it. Whoa! That was EMP missiles. That's fine. Okay, next one. Also, we break the enemy flux here. My guys should move in and do a lot of damage, I hope. 
Guys, no, no, no. Don't target the enemy that actually can be killed, my friend. <laughs> Sometimes the AI gets obsessed with fighting the struts. I have no idea why. It's pretty funny, though. Ben. So far, no one's died on my team, I think. So we're looking okay. Keep up the damage, everybody. Keep up the damage. It's fluxes at maximum, so we can't fire it all the time and defend at the same time. So if we just try and wear it down a bit, this is where the Gatling guns on that assault cannon would be amazing if you can just fire them at the enemy, my friend. Now he wants to kill the support struts. <laughs> damn it, fine. We kill the damn support struts and then we go and kill the enemy station. Okay, he's using stuff there. This might take a while. This is why my next purchase, if I can afford it, is going to be another carrier. And I'm going to try and focus on getting some bombing wings. We do actually, we picked some up, I think, on the re previous battles. So we should be okay in the future. So we want, this is the point where you want to have torpedoes. Just to throw them in, do big damage, sort it. Oh, I'm being hit a lot here. I just took a big hit from all the flux weapons. Let's back up a little bit if we can. Shield up again. Good news is, though, even though I took some damage, the enemy's taking damage now as well. I think, at least in the middle, their shield is now gone. Oh, armor, sorry. So it should be easier to kill in the future. Their support structure is going down as well. So hopefully, once they're all gone, my units will start focus firing on the actual enemy station, and we can actually take it down properly. Because they're using a lot of DPS right now on the wrong things. <laughs> Guys, please! Focus fire, men! Focus fire! Oh, it's like a shotgun, this thing he's firing. That's pretty... That's why it was marked as... Oh, I saw some news there. That's why it was marked as AoE. Or area, should I say. Look at this damage you're putting in now. We're doing it. We're doing it. This... <laughs> Get out the way, you stupid wreckage. Broadcast and points. Thank... Oh, my God. You need to retreat, my friend. You just took a giant bunch of damage there. If you can survive. Oh, He's okay, he's okay. It's merely a flesh wound. Oh. My engine, no. It's okay, if I just make sure I'm not spinning. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Well, my pulsators can carry on firing. It's not a problem. Oh, they're actually... Oh, my. Did you guys just witness the suicide charge of my friend there? <laughs> We may be- there's another one going in. What are you doing? <laughs> Damn it, mechs! Maybe do not deploy mechs in these battles. So it is speeding up though. The source damage is doing pretty well here. I could probably recover them though, right? It's fine. Though we may have lost some officers in the process. A few more hits. We're so close. Come on. Yes! It's over. The station's been defeated. Death, succumb to your death. Command the shepherd has come a knocking. You idiots. <laughs> we have lost Ash Ashley though. Wait, have we? I don't know. We probably want to move the officers away from those mechs as soon as possible because the death rate right now is kind of um, high. <laughs> Cool. Anyway, we've done that. Their base has been destroyed. We got 15 grand and 80 grand from the actual bounty. And also now, the bit is safer. It's just a flat out safer place. Uh, or, or is it? Or is it? No, it's not. Sorry. That one was not the one messing with my base. i got to get the other one. The one below us. That's doing plus four pirate base in this area. So, I must admit. Blowback. Interesting. So, in the past, the last time I played this, it changed, it's, it's changed a bit, hasn't it? So, what happened last time is that you kept going up, you kept losing more and more accessibility, stability over and over again. It's pretty much impossible to have any kind of empire. It was, I did not enjoy the system. This one, though, it seems to have changed dramatically. If I go over to my colony you'll see that he has not got the horrific debuffs that are coming last time. But the problem now is that you get continual pirate raids, which I think makes a lot more sense. Because I presume if you get to a point where you lose a battle against the pirates, then you will start getting those debuffs. If you cannot defend your territory, you do not have the ability to have 
like all the stuff you would expect like stable income and stable trade but as long as we manage to protect the location with the traders and also the actual base itself we don't have a problem i like that system more because it means if you have a good military you're doing your job sorted anyway we are going to grab that guy add his stuff into the savaging field and then we're going to give it a quick look and that was not worth it perfect okay so you guys have been cowed down sorry about that we're going to probably pull back a little bit. We are getting some repairs, but I think the amount of repairs required is probably going to blast through everything I have. <laughs> so we'll see how much we have left over afterwards. Let's go, quickly go back to Lempo. So how much money have we got in reserve? Oh, it's just a lot of money that time as well. I did make a profit. I'm, I can't remember how much I sold it for. It was like 125 grand or something. So we made a profit, but not as much as I should have because I, I used the wrong system. I, I accidentally sold it on the proper market instead. But it's okay. We did actually have enough supplies to stay where we were. Let's go back then. We're going to try and take down the other base now as well. Now I'm pretty certain that the final base in this location is actually a low-tech one. Or at least I'm pretty certain. Let's see if we can find it again. Oh, it's at the top there. We do exactly the same thing again. We're going to move in. I'm going to break the defenders nearby if we can. Actually, what we should probably do is just try and move some units away from... Damn the game. <laughs> move units away from the base. So I'm going to take control of this. They're going to have to come and send some fleets to try and take it down. Also, in the meantime, I can move faster as well. So that's pretty handy. Don't mind me, friend, going back to bed. How long do I have on that colony attack? 32 days until arrival. Okay. As long as we don't forget about that, it should be fine. What kind of base is this? Ah, it's a very baby base. It's so adorable. This should be very easy, I think. It doesn't even have a gun section. It's just got two hangar sections. This is going to be an extremely easy mission. So in that regard, do we want to go for this? Do we want to have 270 more supplies? Or do we want to have more equipment? I think we go for the supplies, personally. Sorry about that random cutaway there. Discord decided to reset itself again and disable streamer mode, which I need to have not constant booping noises while recording videos. Done. Sorted. Engage enemy station. Uh, we're going to send everyone in this time. We're just smash it out. It should be fine. We want speed. We need to get it down quickly. Beautiful. So beautiful. So we're going to have to distill a bunch of broadswords and piranhas. I'm pretty certain it should be pretty easy to win. It shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. Be careful, my friend. Probably the session was completely different when we got into the battle. It's like, that wasn't what they said it was going to be at all. So I'm pretty certain as soon as the battle probably starts, my guys are just going to go and sword these stations like crazy. They've only got a few guns on them. Most of the damage is going to be random, like, anti, like, long-range missiles and stuff. Should be simple. Oh, I want to see this guy do some damage. Oh, there's a lot of ball swords, guys, right now. Go, my mechs! Kill them! The face tank is in! He's carving up the enemy base one slice at a time. Overloaded? Then back up, my friend! <laughs> Why are you face tanking like this? He has no regard for his own life. Just war. That's one section down. I bet they're scared right now. Okay, let's put the shield up. It's going to block in a second anyway. Just want to make sure I don't get killed by the blast. Why, hello there. Look at the damage. Ah, doesn't stand a chance. Double base destroyed. So I should actually get a, well, less enemy increase in danger and also some points to kill the star base sack of my home base. Take it all. What do we get? Negative 40. Vengeance fleet. I don't really care about that. That's fine. And everyone's happy with me. Perfect. Let's have a look, look around. Oh. 
Nice. Okay, so how long do we have? They're assembling in three days, and they're coming directly from the system over here. I'm not going to go and attack them when they're assembling, because they have a military base, level 7, and they probably have their entire military there. So basically, not a good idea. We will head now back to our main base, though. Have I? I think I checked these systems already, haven't I? So there's no point scatting them out anymore. Shame we didn't find any blueprints this episode. Once we uh, figure out who our enemies are a bit more, we're trying to uh, figure out who to, we're trying to figure out who to attack and who not to attack, and then we're trying to nick some blueprints on those enemies. I mean, for instance, right now, if I look at my command, what I want factions. We are currently at war with the adversary, the Hiver, Ludic Path, and the Pirates. So quite a few people. I don't know about attacking the Hivers. They probably don't have weapons I particularly want, being like a bionic kind of race. But these guys are very base games, so they should have a lot of blueprints we can use, which would be pretty handy. They're actually made... They're not making peace, but they're, they're getting towards making peace with someone. Jump. Speaking of that fashion, if I have a look around, do they actually have any bases that... This could be a big boon here. So there's the a, there's a planet of Hog and Borlu owned by the adversary and unlike their main base which I don't know where that is actually by the way they actually do not have a military base there this one this is curse why do they have so many military worlds there anyway I reckon there's a good chance we can go and mess with these people and we can destroy their traders we can just uh, raid their bases we can do loads of things we can definitely make an impact on their war ethics we've got member as well if we go over to command or is it intel where is it it's not this one. It was the strategic AI. This faction by far was the strongest, I think. They have very quick game when it comes to invasion points. They already have a lot of income. One million pounds. No one else has remotely close to a million pounds. They are making way too much money. If we just try and have a proper faction, we need to make sure we take those people on. They are the ones that are going to be our biggest threat here. So we've got to keep that in mind as we play the game here. Also as well, I would point out, if we actually manage to capture worlds, or at least disable them a little bit, we probably increase our own colony success as well. So definitely worth it. Now, uh, where is my base? It is... Around here somewhere. There, that one. Don't mind me, friend. Don't mind me. Hey, buddy. It's been a little... Have they captured the... <sighs> and they keep doing this. They just keep capturing it, sir, over and over again. I don't know why my guys aren't flying over here to recapture um, ourselves. Take control. The new church is going to colonize somewhere. Interesting. I like keeping an eye on that because they normally grab really good territories and you can go and nick them afterwards. At least that's what I normally do anyway. Ah. Apparently the enemy is on its way to cause me some problems, but we'll see how strong they are when they get here. Oh. They're here. The enemy is in the system already. That was way, way, way quicker than I thought it was going to be. We should be fine though. I just want to double check by the way before I end up the stuff here. We haven't seemed to have found any more of these fellas. Interesting. So that must mean we have to go and get them from somewhere. Which is... Uh, where did I even find that? Was I just randomly exploring the map? I must have just come across one. I do wonder if we can go maybe attack a base with one and then steal their research cores. Like, that might be a thing that works, right? Uh, uh, we have to explore options as we play the game here. Let me figure out what to do. So I was thinking I probably want to try and install more AI cores, by the way, just to keep the demand and stuff down a little bit. It doesn't really matter too much, but I mean, I just like it. <laughs> it does also make the enemy hate me a bit more, but whatever, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. The more stuff we have we can sell the more money we can kind of make. Though it's actually putting stuff down for some reason. How is that even possible? Wait, what's up in it? Am I not understanding how this works? It goes up. Is it because we're selling it domestically and we have to export more? Is that how that works? It could be why. I'm not really sure. I'll figure it out at some point though. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure people will probably tell me in the comments, probably like five episodes ago, and be very upset with me that I've not changed anything, but that's just how things are. <laughs> Anyway, everybody, I think apart from that, it's probably going to be today's episode. We'll take on this new enemy fleet at the start of tomorrow's episode. Well, that might be it there, actually. Do you know what? That's super easy to kill. We're going to kill it now. I thought it was going to be a big navy, not like a tiny little task force. We don't even need our full force. I think we just deploy half of it. 
We deploy all the mech leaders. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was just smashing into my carrier there. My bad. So I haven't really fought most of these units yet. They're all very bio, like, bio, aren't they? I'm not that scared of them, though, to be fair. I think we'll be fine. Okay, we'll move up. My mechs need some support. Luckily, we got a carrier now, so they should, in theory, be able to go and repair it my own carrier. We'll see what happens in a second. Yep, they're doing that. I'm pretty certain that's what's happening right now. Oh, he's so slow. Just slow down. Let him in. <laughs> Why are you treating him this way? Eventually, my friend will get into that hangar there. Okay, enemy spotted. Let's go in for some kills, shall we? Ooh, what fire? Was that one there? Where did that come from? Okay, enemy spotted. Let's take these guys down, shall we? Ooh. Is he, like, firing death charges at me? We're in space, mate. Oh, he's got a damage reduction matrix. That is a very annoying thing to have on your ship. These look very defensive, these ship designs. In fact, that is a giant armor shell. Do you know what? We're going to call the reinforcements. This is going to take too long otherwise. We'll call everyone in. It's fine. If they're going to be very defensive, we can't just fly through them all like we can with the pirates. Whoa! What happened? Where? What happened? What's going on? Okay, I think that person's dead. I don't really want to fight this guy. I won't be able to do anything. I've only got, like, anti-shield. <laughs> it's going to be worthless. I'll try and go to someone else that we can actually kill here. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, is that a carrier? Yes, two carrier slots. Ah! Keep our distance. So now we've got some reinforcements. Maybe we can try and push in and kill some dudes here. The enemy seems pretty fast. This one... Oh, it's in my range. Let's go for it. Let's go for the little easy one first. We'll kill the little frigate. If we can. I'm taking a little bit of damage, but it's not too bad. I'm going to ignore it. Those guys just bounced off me. <laughs> I guess if the cannons actually hit my hull, it would be a very different story, though. Ah! Kill them, sword units! Kill them all! I'm so happy I found those blueprint guys. It's so good. Oh, they're arcing me. Okay, let's back up. they got a lot of electricity there. They are just keeping my distance, aren't they? Though we are winning. They, they're all very on HP, so they're going to start falling apart or they're going to retreat very soon. This is where having long range would be very useful. Or very, at least like a fast fighter bomber squad. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so close. Yes, got it. That one's out. You're next. Try and land. Oh, let's be careful. I wish I had high bossy drivers right now. That would be so much better. Another one bites dust. They seem to just be retreating. I don't think we're going to catch that guy in time, to be fair. Oh! 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 It fled it at the end. So their big ship's still down there, right? So we've got some guys trying to take that down. I presume it's going to be too slow to escape. So we just finish off this frigate and head down to fight the main guy. Yes. Oh, oh. No engines for you, buddy. Oh, I thought the uh, tassels were its engines for a second, but maybe I'm a bit wrong there. Ah, oh, you got one of the destroyers. Let's go for this guy next. Now, luckily, we're coming down to them, so it's going to be very hard for them to escape. If they even want to escape at this point. Oh, it's the electricity guy. This guy's going to be pretty effective against some mechs, I think, unfortunately. But if I break his flux, I may not be scared of him anymore. Oh, here they come. Oh, I love these beam lasers. They're so cool. Um, yeah. Nope. Perfect. Okay. Last enemy is in sight. He's still got his shell. It's probably going to take a while. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Wait. you got like a... So now we've reached the final guy. He's got like a bit of a long-range railgun kind of thing. What if we can try and steal it off him? How heavily armored do you reckon this thing is? It's a shame that the mech's going to go around the back. Because if I try and go this way, I'll try and flank around him. Get him to spin around and my feet can attack him from behind. 
So I might have to stop shooting a second because my flux is pretty bad right now. There you go. Take him from behind, guys. Attack from behind. Take him down. That shell is still going strong, though. And dead. Nice. I guess that task force has not had a good time. One person survived. Hunt him down. Complete destruction. <gasps> I pressed the wrong button. I lost one of my my dudes. No! I should have recovered it. We're, we're all just some new ones. We bought one a little bit more anyway. Dead. Well, what do they expect? They're coming to attack my base. I defended myself. They can't be too upset about that. Make my... Can you please construct me another one of these? Thank you. That's 20 grand. We've got 168, 7 grand to go. I'm going to bring in a Heron. More carriers. Apart that, everybody, I think that is going to be it for this episode. hope that everyone has enjoyed. We will try and, I think, start messing with some enemies next episode. We'll start trying to take them down a little bit. I would love as well to start doing some research. So if we mess with the enemy, can't find any research cubes, we go somewhere else and we go from there. i got more money than I thought I did. Interesting. Anyway, everybody, apart from that, I'll see you next time. Bye.